Emotional intelligence, a very popular buzzword in the world of business. And what came before it was another way of measuring human performance called IQ. Now, what we haven't yet considered is that there may be a whole realm of intelligences within every single human being that if we were to look at and consider and tap into, we might actually be able to expand and elevate our ability to achieve more with less effort, to get more done, to create more ease and more flow, to expand our businesses and to cultivate extraordinary relationships. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the other intelligences that we have not yet given very much airtime to and to have you introduce this into your life and into your business. First off, there is spiritual quotient. What is spiritual quotient? Spiritual quotient is the awareness of consciousness. I've been considering that instead of hiring people based on their resume, what if I was to suggest that you actually look at where a person's consciousness is? This is an up level to an old narrative that I had where I would teach company leaders to actually look at their new team members' values before they brought them on board because it gets you past what looks really great on paper. Now we all know in our first few meetings that we always bring our best foot forward just like in a date. It's a business date where we're putting our greatest self forward but then we start to slide and slip back into our comfort zone and our two colors are revealed. So you cannot gauge someone's capacity for performance on a resume alone. If you were to find a way to actually understand their spiritual quotient, aka their consciousness level, then you would have a really great understanding of how they're going to handle challenges and how they're going to handle setbacks and be able to actually continue to perform at a higher level. So now we have IQ, intelligence quotient, we have EQ, which is emotional quotient, and we have SQ, which is spiritual quotient. Next on the list is resiliency quotient. One's ability to bounce back from a setback to bounce back from a hardship, to bounce back from adversity. Our resiliency quotient really comes from a place of self-awareness. When we can look at our external environment and we can realize that we can change that by changing our internal environment. Therefore, whatever happens outside of us, even if it has an impact on our circumstances and on our experience of life that we can go within and we can create a new reality we can create a new relationship with our desired outcomes and that enables us to literally elevate our vibration elevate our frequency expand our energy to get up above and beyond the circumstances of whatever it is that we are experiencing so that's resiliency quotient. Now, next is adversity quotient. So how are you able to look at adversity as being simply that which it is, and that is contrast. When you look at adversity and you can see it for what it is, and you can realize that it is in the contrast where you discover what you don't want, by looking at it and saying, this is what I do want, therefore this contrast is serving me. So when you can look at contrast as being a gift, as being a guiding post, as being a way of navigating what you think, how you feel, and then the steps that you take and the action that you execute on, 
you can actually welcome adversity in the door. And this is where that saying that, you know, whatever life has to throw at me, I can handle it. Because it's not about what's going on out there, it's about what is going on inside within me. So now we have intelligence quotient, we have emotional quotient, we have resiliency quotient, and we have adversity quotient. What about looking at your knowledge of human systems growth and evolution? This is an SQ as well, but it's really a systems quotient. When we look back in history at humanity and we see that life has cycles and we see that humanity goes through these systems thinking change-ups, then we can realize that whatever is going on in our world now really isn't going to be hard and fast forever. It's not that we have to be in this state long term. It's a change in systems that then morphs into a broader, more complex, more expanded system that allows in greater levels of awareness. When you can look at systems quotient from this perspective, then you can realize that everything is in flux, everything is in a state of change, and you can actually contribute to that flux and that change that benefits you by cultivating your emotional quotient, cultivating your spiritual quotient, and staying in alignment so that that resiliency is there and you can actually use and leverage adversity to your advantage. Now, with all of that said, Spiritual quotient or spiritual intelligence, spiritual, the quotient is really just the way of measuring. So spiritual quotient or spiritual intelligence underpins your emotional intelligence and your intelligence quotient, your IQ. When you get underneath who you are being as a logical-minded, practical, action-taking human being with a level of conscious awareness that is expanded and beyond what you've utilized or been aware of in the past, now suddenly you expand your ability to create greater results from less effort. And this is the place that I would invite you to allow yourself to go so that you no longer are in that mode of struggle, that you no longer view business, life, reality, relationships as being this hard thing, but it's actually an extension of who you're being with yourself and the relationship that you are cultivating as a verb with you and that you are actually able to change up any circumstance in your life, any experience that you're having, and you can turn it into something that is useful, worthwhile, pleasurable, and enjoyable, because really, truly, life was not meant to be a struggle. I feel that the only difference between struggle and hard work is a negative emotion like fear, doubt, uh, lack, um, a sense of loss, or maybe a limiting belief that life is hard, that business is a struggle, or that there's something outside of you that is keeping you from actually creating the results that you want. Maybe it's a limiting decision that at some point in your life, you went through a really traumatic experience and we all have our own reality on what trauma is. So what might be traumatic to me may not be traumatic to you. So with that said, you may have gone through a traumatic situation in your life and you said, that's it. I am never going down this road again. I am never going to do X, Y, Z ever again. 
happens when you get your heart broke. You get your heart broke from a relationship and what do you say to yourself? That's it. I've sworn off relationships. I actually have had clients where they start to grow their business and then things don't work out the way they think they should. You know, we should all over ourselves. And so then they just say to themselves, wow, I'm just not going to be able to grow this business. I'm just going to have to accept that it is what it is. So whatever it is you're doing to hold yourself back, really look at the idea or the notion that you're more than just an IQ, you're more than just an EQ, and that as you ramp up your awareness of your resiliency quotient and your adversity quotient, and you build all of that on top of your spiritual quotient, then you will be in a much more empowered state of being to create the results that you want to create and the growth will present itself and you might just quite possibly enjoy the journey. This is Deborah Peters. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and do subscribe, hit the bell button and then as I upload new content, you'll get an alert and I'll keep you up to date on all sorts of tools and tips and concepts that you can apply immediately to grow your business, grow your team, and most of all, to grow you. I look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care. Ciao.